just uh, just getting through now to a climb. Yeah. I've worked with him for quite a bit of time now. He's doing alright, he's doing alright. Hi Liam. <coughs> Lee. Leon. Hiya, mate. I was not good. Hey, don't stress, don't stress. Are you still eating clean? See, that's your problem. You can't be just swapping out foods like that. You don't see me eating bloody fucking donuts, do you? No. Only chicken, almonds, asparagus, egg whites. Simple. Yes, of course you can have Rice crispy Squares after you've trained. But that's because, you know, your body deals with it differently after you've trained, doesn't it? I told you this. So you're not dropping any weight. And just remind me again. Are you on T3? You're not on T3. Add some in. And what, Clen? 100? And are you shaking? You are shaking. Double it. No! It's not dangerous now. Heart palpo? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Nah, I've, nah, 200 will be fine. Of Clen. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Look, what do doctors know? I've been doing, I've prepped so many clients. Trust me. Do you trust me? We well, should, alright? So, right, what I'll do is I'll revise your meal plan. Look, we'll add the tea for in, we'll add the cleaning, that's all good. Um, I'll change a few things around. I've got I've got a few manipulations that I, I, I know how to make at this stage. It's pretty common. So we will be adding a cheat meal in on leg day uh, to boost your metabolism back up. You are eating every two hours, yeah? And it's all clean? Yep. I know exactly what to do. All right, cheers, Liam. Lee, Leon! He's gone. So what's happened there then? What are you going to have to do with that? Well, we're in week four now, mate. All right. So things have got to change up in week four. Okay. So what I've done is I've, I've removed two meals. Right, <coughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Um, but when is metabolism slow down? Because you've got... I'll add a cheat meal in. Yeah, okay, cool. Good leg on. day. Yeah, yeah. I'll add a cheat meal. After leg day. I didn't think about that. Right, so I'm you taking... You've got to eat little often, mate. You are you got to eat a little often. Well, yeah, he's on. <coughs> I've, I've reduced his meals down from 10 to 8 now. So he's still eating. Still enough, I think. Well, yeah. Well, I he's mean, still he's getting up. that. So if he's, if he's sleeping 8 hours a day, remaining 16 hours, that's, you know, a meal every 2 hours. Yeah, he's, getting, he's keeping that furnace going. So, yeah, he's stoking it up. Um, so what I'd just basically do, um, so week 4, what I've done in the um, in the first, the first meal, I've just reduced the almonds down from 3 to 2. Simple, right? take out, you know, um, an almond. Um, now, a funny story about this guy, actually. He, he came to me and he said he got a nut allergy. <clears throat> and, because um, I'd originally put in um, cashew nuts. And I said, oh, I have almonds. And he thought almonds was a nut. I was like, mate, I was like, cashew nut, hazelnut, pea nut, you know, walnut, Brazil nut, almond nut. Almonds are fruit, mate. So... <coughs> Did he eat them? I've not heard from him for a few weeks, actually. Just so what you work on? Just finalising some climb plans. I've got fifteen to up now, so mm -hmm. should take me about ten minutes, I think. Something like that. What? It won't take your day. Ten minutes. It's yeah, only fucking. What? It's fifteen of them. Though. It's only ten meals. They all get the same one. Simple. Why would you? All get, but, well, they, but, they've all got one end goal. They want to get leaner. One diet. Yeah, but you've got some females that have signed up and yeah. some blokes. Yeah. Well, so would they not be different? Or? Why? But they're not even all bodybuilders, mate. Yeah, but surely losing, losing fat's got to be the same, though. Well, I don't know. Well, that, that's why they signed up with you, isn't it? Don't you know? No. Well, see, what I usually do is... I mean, I've got... Over 100 clients, by laws of average, 20 of them will get results. Easy. I mean, 80, probably not, but I've but, got 20 fucking transformation pictures, so... Yeah, but you say it's bespoke training, don't you? 
it, it is bespoke. Because I've written it. Yeah, so same training plan as well, because it's like, well, you want to develop the whole body. So, and what I tend to do is I go for like a high volume approach. So six double days a week. Um, so I'm just writing one up now, um, lovely lady. Um, Susan, she's got about four or five stone to lose. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely woman. Um, yeah, she's um, lost a leg to diabetes, but you can work around. You see, that's the, the art of being a good coach, working around stuff. So anyway, I've got her on six double days. Um, so just think of the amount of calories she'll burn in that, and you think, well, she's got quite a lot of weight to lose, so that'll fucking f drop off if she's training that much, won't it? What, what does she do for a job? It works at Tesco's. Right. And she's on yeah. double days, yeah? Well, job's not that demanding. She sat down on a fucking till all day. <laughs> Sound. Um, so, yeah, I've, st I've stuck her on... Um, I don't know the calories. I don't. I don't really work in calories. Calories for me, it never tends to work. Calories, so I just stick stick on the same meal plan as everybody else. Um, starting off with squats. Um, single leg, yeah. What? Single leg squats, probably. It's not swim. <laughs> She's only got one leg. <laughs> one legged squats. One legged squats. Still with the bar. <laughs> leg press. I'll change it for leg press. That's the only change I'm making. It's taking fucking way too long. Yeah. What's up, mate? I'm just going for my fucking mid-morning nap. And um, I get a text of a client asking me about the supplements that I've given him. So I give I give them all the same one anyway. So I've just got up a, another client supplement list because I think I must have missed it off on his. Must have not copied and pasted across. Um... I must have just not put it in. Cut that. Cut the copy and paste out. I must have just um, not put it in in his assessment. I will have written it down in all his notes. I keep loads of notes um, on Dave. Um, yeah, so it will be in his notes. So I'm just going to look at his notes. I'll just call him back and just tell him about the supplements that um, that he needs to be taking. He's going to buy more from me. So. You know, I'll bill him after. I'll bill him after. It should, should be quite a lot because I tend to tend to get. But they're all necessary. Oh, are they? No, they are. What, really? Yeah. Well, no, not really. But don't tell them that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause if, if this video gets <coughs> more clients, I'll be sending them the same fucking thing. The same thing, yeah. Hi, Danny. Dave. Um, yeah, about the supplements, mate. Yeah. You're not taking enough currently. So, yeah, I did write it down in all your notes because uh, I've, I've kept extensive notes. We've got ab about six or seven pages on uh, on your notes, mate. So, um, but, yeah, I'm just going to drag these up now and let you know exactly what I want you to take. So, vitamin D, um, because you've got a lack of sunlight. Dosage. Two tablets. How do I know what's in the tablet? What does it say on the back? Yeah, take that. Um, Omega 3s, um, as you don't eat much oily fish. Yeah. I would go with three capsules every meal. Yeah, that's cool, three. Because I think because there's three of them, you have Omega 1 in the first one, Omega 2 in the second one, and Omega 3 in the third one. You writing all this down? Cool. Nutri-greens um, to aid your digestion. Um, and you can get that from, from me again and I want you to, to take vitamin B complex no I know, no I know you're not vegan yeah no you're right in saying that but I'm not putting it in for that I'm putting it in because lack of vitamin B can cause stress on the pancreas and fat and carb metabolism fat and carb metabolism what have I wrote there <laughs> It, it might make your fat and carb metabolism down regulate so stick that in there vitamin B complex because if your pancreas is stressed mate um, you're not going to be assimilating n near enough nutrients no uh, if you've got stressed pancreas because your pancreas is what um, uh, 
when you just don't want to stress one. Biogest Thorn Research to help regulate digestion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need that as well as the Nutri Greens, yeah. And then next is um, Bragg's apple cider vinegar for digestion and assimilation of nutrients. <laughs> yeah, all of these, all of these for digestion. You are, you were suffering bloating. You weren't suffering. You weren't. No, your digestion was fine. So take it anyway. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. So try cycling allerg allergy research. Yeah, it's a good one. I take this myself. And that is to reduce all overgrown bad bacteria. How do I know you've got bad bacteria? Um, it's quite common. It's quite common. And I can just tell um, from your, some of your photos. Chromium picolinate. Yes, yeah, yeah. Stabilise blood sugar metabolize fat and combat insulin resistance combat it i know you're lean yeah i know you're not diabetic your insulin sensitivity is pretty good but can it be better listen to what your coach says don't question your coach see i've got the experience of coaching next l tyrosine Neural drive, focus and clarity. Alpha lipoic acid for fat breakdown. Get that in as well. Shreddable untamed. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's yeah, I know it's got him by it. Do you want to win? Do you want to win? You can take it with Clenin T3, of course you can. I think. It's not it can't be that dangerous. Do you want to win? This is the second or first? Second or first, Dave? First it is. Thermopure, but we're only going to stick that in on your intermittent fasting days. Yeah? That's what it says here. You're not intermittent fasting. Yeah. Stick it in on your non-training days. Stick it in every day. We'll go every day because we want to win. We want gold, boy. We want gold. And zinc to increase your natural natural testosterone level. Yeah, alongside the 600 milligrams that you're on as well. Well, because that's not natural testosterone, but you want you also want your natural testosterone up, so zinc as well. Because you've got your unnatural that you're injecting and then the natural is on top. So that's it. There's just 15. Just, just 15. And... and um, and your anabolics as well. So yeah, it should be in the region, including anabolics. Uh, 300, 400 quid. Yeah. It's... You've got to make choices, mate. Do, you, do your kids need new clothes? And can you use the nappies again? Of course you can. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Pre-workout, I'm watching Arnold on my telly. Good up. I better, I better answer it. Fucking client. For fuck's sake. I knew I shouldn't have taken on more than 100. <sighs> Hi, Sarah. Yeah, no, I'm all good. No, no, I've always got time for you. Yeah. Alright, yeah, calm down. Yeah. And you've not lost any, any weight. Are you cheating on your diet? No, 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 I didn't. No, of course not. I didn't mean to offend you. No. Yeah, you no, know, no. You've read up about... I've told you to stop reading. There's a lot of rubbish out there. And I've got experience in this. I've taken a lot of people to stage. What are your drugs like? You're not on... No. Have you thought about putting drugs in? Okay, you won't. It's fine. It's fine, we'll drop your calorie. 
You won't die if you go lower than 600. You won't... You'll be fine. Two, two hours cardio is... It's pretty standard, to be honest. If I'm being honest with you, it's it's pretty standard. Yeah. They're, they're all, all of my clients run two... Of course it's bespoke. What? Stop talking about what you've read up on. Neat. You, you're always very neat. Like, your posing's great. Your hair looks nice. Non-exercise activity. Thermo... Th- Thermobol. The fat burn I've got. You know, thermo... Thermogenesis, non. Neat. Sounds made up. Sounds a bit airy fairy, that. What is it? Just steps. Come on. How can that cause any fat burn? Your heart rate won't be in the fat burning zone. I've told you this 120 to 140 beats a minute. That's your fat burning zone, isn't it? What's your, what, what's your heart rate going to be like? Just walking? No. Of course you don't burn any calories walking. It's not exercise. You're just walking around any anyway, aren't you? Look at all the fat people that walk. Check in with me in a couple of weeks, alright? Yep. Moan, moan, bloody fucking moan. What more do they want? For fuck's sake. I'm sat here answering calls when I'm supposed to be watching fucking telly. They realise I'm supposed to be watching fucking telly. What was that about, Neat? What was that about? She's fucking read some... St- Stuff up, it's got loads of research. Neat. Never fucking heard of it, mate. Steps it is. What, as if that's gonna fucking help? We on? We're on, mate, yeah, yeah. So, what, what was the rush? What? Why are you rushing over to your computer? Well, I've got clients competing this week, and I've just seen on Instagram that last week's winner had cookies in a peak week. What? Cookies, yeah. They're not clean, what? are they? It's peak week. Ah, uh, okay. What's peak week again? The last week before show. So what I tend to do is, um, for the first sort of 20 weeks of the diet or whatever it is, clean. Clean, clean, clean. No sweeteners, because they're not good for you. Um, like no dairy, nothing like that. Completely clean. Um, certainly, certainly no no dairy or sweeteners towards peak week. But what I do tend to do is just add in like things like donuts, Cookies and muffins into the into the last week. What's that doing? Yeah. Last week's winner had cookies. Mm. So that's what dairy, no? What? Is? Cookies? Yeah. No. Well, we've got chocolate in it. It's dairy, isn't it? Chocolate. Hmm. Is it? Not, not unless you have dairy milk. They're just normal Asda ones. Like, I just say, get the Asda Tesco ones. Yeah, it's all chocolate. It's not dairy milk, though, is it? Well, I, I take them through depletion, so I, I deplete them down. Um, but deplete them with what? You what's, what's that mean? Deplete them with what? Well, because you, you want to deplete them before you fill them up. But, but they've not been eating anything all day, have they? They're not on any carbs, are they? No. So what... What do you deplete them? It doesn't even make sense, does it? Why would if you're going to fill it up anyway? Why don't you just fill it up with less and just not deplete them? It's I, like well, cause it's like if you were saying like bank account, like I want to fill my bank account, but I need to I need to go down to zero before I start filling it. Hmm. No, you just start filling it from the hundred that you've got in. It just makes it just makes sense. Isn't that? They'll never know. They won't. They'll That's what know. everyone else says, They'll never know. That's what everyone else says. Everyone else is deplete. Just depletion phase. Depletion phase. So yeah, what I tend to do is just hammer them with um, lots and lots and lots of reps. Um, zero carb. Um, completely zero carb. Um, and then I just fill them up. So I'll fill them up and I'll just I'll just give them a heavy carb load. And um, you know, that's all they need. Carb, carbs, a pump up, a tan. And they just really dry out. So I tend to stick a little bit of asparagus in, some dandelion root, and um, as much diazide as they can handle. Um, no, it is. No people have. No people have had heart attacks with. Uh, what? Yeah, why? But not everyone. So you can get killed crossing the road. Yeah. But so so you just don't. They don't not have to drink any water. No, they stopped drinking two days before. That can't be good, can it? Why not? If, if you don't drink any water, how can you hold any water? Yeah, I didn't think of that. 
So stop drinking two days out with your carb up, dry carbs, because then you're not going to hold any water. So dry carbs, and that'll just dry you out. That's what it means, dry you out. Dry. Fill the carbs out, dry you out, and suck yeah. you right in. Mm. No water. Pop a couple of diazide, and if you survive, Bob's your uncle. Pretty fucking peeled, to be honest, you know? Yeah, and then I basically what I tend to do is get them drunk on stage. So a lot of my bikini girls, I'll give them a bottle of wine on stage. They've typically not drank for 20 weeks, so the time to add in alcohol it, it, and get them drunk is just as they're about what, to what? present a package, their best package, hopefully. Um, the time to do it is on on what, stage. What? what, what how, how does that help? Drives them out. So yeah, usually a bottle of wine before stage and then just as they're about to go on, um, as many jelly babies um, as they can fit um, in their mouth because fast acting carbs. How, how quick do they act? Uh? Fast. Well, you know, surely if they've eaten them as they go on stage, surely they won't have digested by the time. Yeah, about, well, usually about 45 minutes to an hour, isn't it? So what, why do they do it just before they go on there? If you copy every other coach, they can't pin it on you and go, well, that's what they've been doing, and that's mm. why they look better. So just copy every other coach, blend it all in to yeah. one, and go, well, you did have cookies, well, you did have wine, yeah. well, you did have your jelly babies, you know. Politics. Mm. It's all politics. It's mind games. It's politics, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Fine. They look way better than you. That was yours, nailed on. Nailed on. That was yours. You're the best on that stage, hands down, even if they're not. Subjective, don't ever know. Subjective, my opinion. My opinion can't be wrong. My opinion is you look the best because I've coached you. <laughs> but you know, if I've got two on the same stage, joint first, equally the best. Right, just for the just for the documentary, we're just gonna like nice background there, look, yep. just professional on that. Okay. So, just gonna run through. Um, your qualifications, you know, your experience and, and the results you got last year of your clients. Yep. So, so mate, so, you know, we've had a great day. Just wanted to run over um, just what qualifications you've got. I'll list them alongside it. Don't worry for the, for the website, for your documentary. Uh, yeah, I've got three A's to C's at school. No, 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 um, no, no, no. I got no. B in religious studies. No, not, no. I mean like Home for, for fitness stuff, not, not that. Like, you don't need to know GCSEs, mate. Like, Obviously, well, then I went and got a BTEC um, in plastering because I'm a, a plaster by trade. Huh? Yeah. So how, do you, how, do you get, how do you get into this then? Well, um, I like training. And um, I was in the gym and I was looking off decent Nick and I did a show myself. I'd done one show. And I was just like, fuck it, I've done one show. Like, I paid a coach. Pretty penny to be made, beats fucking plastering. So um, I was just like, right, I'll take on clients, you know. Usual thing, you know, only two spaces left. There wasn't, there's loads. So only two spaces, come and get them while you can. Discounting it, you know, £50 offer only. It's like fucking DFS. They've always got a fucking sale on. Offerings Monday, which Monday? But fucking 2030 by the looks of it. Same as me. Offer ends Monday. Right. And I, I just got loads in. And because I was so cheap at the beginning, I ended up getting loads and loads of fucking clients, right? And by fucking laws of average, if a couple of them stick to it, you, you're going to get a transformation. Right, so... Because loads fail. Loads fucking fail. Right, yeah. You won't, honestly, you won't believe it. The fucking percentage rate. You just need one winner. Right. Who gives a fuck about the rest? You don't, come, you don't get prizes for fucking finishing second. You do get prizes for finishing second, but... What I like to say about my coach is I'm sorting the wheat from the chaff. So only the strong will survive this, right? And that's who I want to work with. So I ended up with a couple of winners that year. Um, and then because I got a couple of winners, people saw that I coached a couple of winners, made me look a better coach. So then I got more people who were doing wedding shows already, right? Because they were already in good nick, they knew what they were doing. They were now on my books. How good of a coach do I fucking look? They were all in fucking shape before they came to me. Right. See, fucking easy this game. Right, so you don't have any qualifications? Yeah, I've got a B-Tech in plastering. <laughs> I've got a fucking certificate on my mum's wall, what do you want?
Oh, well, I did my induction at the gym. Does that count? <laughs> Cycling proficiency. Oh. All right. Well, what about your best results then? What about like you talked before about that that, that one girl you've got who just wins? Oh that, yeah, that, she's and, my poster girl. Right. And so she's the only one that's won anything. Yeah. Oh. I've got a couple of other stragglers. But yeah, she's my poster girl, and because she's my poster girl, like now, this year, I've had loads of people come in because of her. I'll get loads of winners next year, and then I can up my prices. So, so that one girl then, it, what, she like, have you like coached her? Have you are you obviously taken her from nothing to something, or was she already... Already in shape, mate. Genetically gifted, mate. Already in shape, pretty good genetics, yeah. Smashing the, smashing the drugs and all that. But it'd be, you know, it'd be amazed. If you don't tell people that... So what's she, what's she be doing? amazed at people like fuck. I want to look like uh, goals, you know, goals. And they know, um, and they know they're never going to get it. No, they think they will. Oh. And I promise them that they will. Have you seen my client? Have you seen her? Look at her. Mm. Look how good she looks. Look how bad you look, fatty. Yeah. If you want it, fucking work for it. But first, make sure you fucking transfer me the money over on PayPal. All right. Six months up front, family and friends. Mm. Get everything you need. I think I think we've got enough. Yeah. I'll let you know when it comes out. So yeah, that's a day in the life of me, um, a prep coach. So, and if you want to apply to work with me, um, yeah, just find me a DM or um, an email, and I'll get back to you via email, and we just take that payment straight away, and um, I'll get you up and running. It usually takes me a couple of minutes to write up a plan. So, yeah. Cool. Co me. Link link below. Check out all the supplements. Yeah. If nothing else, please. Right. I think we got everything we need. Yeah.